This could be you standing behind this deer next year. Don't miss out on these great opportunities. Visit us at sportsmanna.com. My name is Brad Kirby. I uh, live in Lincoln, California, and uh, for I'm an attorney by trade. Got a big family. Got six kids. For fun, we mostly do all kinds of outdoors things. Hi there, Chad. Hi, Chad. Nice to meet you. One of the three Chads in this outfit. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> yeah. Was uh, cruising the uh, the various outdoor and hunting channels on TV one day and ran across Sportsman of North America. Winner Brad Kirby is in Indiana with Sprague Outfitters and Sportsman of North America, ready to hunt some whitetail. So um, on the recommendation of, of the show and the, the host on the show, I took a look at the website and decided I wanted to join and, and joined. And um, not too long after I joined, I received a phone call from the staff at Sportsman of North America and was informed that I had actually um, been the recipient of one of the weekly hunts and was ecstatic to, to have that happen. Never expected it to happen, hoped that it would, looked like the odds were pretty good and uh, worked out for me. I was pretty excited to, to find out that I won a whitetail hunt because frankly, while I've been hunting all my life and I've had the opportunity to hunt all over the West, um, and had actually uh, hunted a few times outside of the country as well. I'd never had an opportunity to hunt whitetail deer before, and obviously that's a, uh, a predominant form of hunting that, that people in the U.S. do, and I hadn't experienced it. Um, and frankly, don't believe necessarily that I would have pursued it anytime soon. Right, we're here on November 7th. It's day one of our hunt. What's as interesting as the, as the sun came up to see what kind of terrain we were going to be hunting in. Um, and obviously that was a new experience for me, having not hunted whitetail before. And immediately we were uh, into, into bucks, and uh, it only got better as the week progressed. So on day two of our hunt in Indiana, uh, we went into uh, a different stand setup, and again, we started seeing bucks right away. Unfortunately, it wasn't a buck that I wanted to take, um, but it was, Interesting to see how they responded to the to the calling. Pretty nice buck, just not quite big enough to shoot particularly on day two. Shortly thereafter, we saw what I determined, at least for me, as a first-time whitetail hunter, to be a shooter buck, and uh, it was a, a ten-point buck, and and uh, he was over, basically putting on the feed bag, and he was across the flat from us, uh, about the same spot that we'd seen the, the other smaller buck. It got hung up at 52 yards and then immediately basically turned 90 degrees and started walking away. We started calling to it. First thing I didn't want anything to do with it, finally started to come in a little bit. Called him over with the, with the grunt call. Came in to about 52 yards. And he turned and walked away. So the next day, uh, we went to yet another stand, and once again, uh, we were in the box. I leaned forward into the tree to, uh, in an effort to expose the vitals on the deer, and about the time I did that, the deer decided to whirl and, uh, and take off, and I prematurely, and I'm gonna say unintentionally, punched the trigger on my release, and. Uh, and the result of that was um, what I tend to refer to as the archery hunter's walk of shame. I got it hung up in my strap. And the result of that was a, was a clean miss. And uh, I guess that'll give us an opportunity to chase an even bigger one this afternoon. So we get to day five, and obviously I'm anxious after having uh, made a mess out of my day four. Uh, and it got to be about uh, 8, 8.30 in the morning, and, um, and while it had been slow, um, we saw a deer approaching, uh, basically coming from the same direction of the deer from the day before. Once again, I grabbed my bow and, and got ready to shoot and was thinking about not repeating the mistakes of the previous day, and uh, took a look at the deer and realized that it was a really, really nice deer. And unfortunately, that deer uh, came to within uh, 27 yards and hung up just a little bit, but unfortunately was in uh, some cover that I wasn't able to find a shot through. 
uh, and it hesitated just momentarily and then like several other deer we'd seen just uh, turned 90 degrees and, and left the country. That was the last we saw of that deer. So if you're not currently a member of Sportsman of North America, uh, I think that without any qualification whatsoever, I can, I can uh, recommend that you go ahead and sign up and become a member. You know, for me, Sportsman of North America was my ticket to the outdoors, and Sportsman of North America can be your ticket to the outdoors as well. Don't miss out on these great opportunities. Visit us at sportsmanna.com.